Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian and this is Brian on an Island where we do tech and gaming. Now, usually what happens is you've put together your gaming PC or any PC for that matter, used or new parts, you've been using it and suddenly out of nowhere your temps start to rise and you think it's about time to crack the side open and give the inside a good old fashioned clean. Today, I am going to tell you guys how to open your side panel and the front panel of your PC and how to give the insides, fans mostly, a good clean without any compressed air. guys, behind me is the CIT Blaze gaming case. Now this case usually comes in two LED colors, a red and a blue, but this one's a bit modded. I changed the fans some time ago with some RGB fans from AliExpress, and it actually gave the PC a very nice, expensive, sophisticated RGB look. But the temps in this case have been um, spiking a bit at idle, so I think it's about time we give inside a clean, um, predominantly the fans to the front, top, and rear of the case. Now, I won't be using any compressed air. We're just going to open the front panel, the side panel, give the fans a good wipe from the front and side. We won't be using any screwdrivers to take anything out. Just a quick wipe on the inside, hopefully to get the fans moving nice and free and getting a lot more air inside of the PC case. So guys, as you can hear, this is going pretty, pretty loud. Like if I bring the camera any closer, you can hear how loud it is. And that's because I think it's really dusty on those fans. Now guys, to remove the front panel, usually what you'll do is you'll unscrew these four screws that are here, here, and also that are here and here to the bottom. You wanna make sure that you secure the side panel very, very, very much because this is glass and some are plastic so if, if it falls it's fine but the one for the CIT blaze case is plastic and if that falls it's not going to be nice you want to make sure you take this and you put it somewhere nice and secure if you rub it with some rubbing alcohol it'll give it a nice shine and get rid of all of those disgusting fingerprints that I know annoy some of us when we're gaming and when we have people over looking at our PCs now to remove the front panel of the CIT Blaze gaming case, what you need to do is find the ridge that's under here. And the first time you do it, it might need a bit of pressure. I would recommend you unplug and turn off your PC before you do this, but I've done this a few times and I know none of my wires interfere with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. If you just pop off, that gives a nice release and you are able to get in here and you can give your fans a nice clean. Now, one thing that's important to know, guys, if you built a PC yourself, it is very, very important that you have a lot of positive air pressure coming into the PC case. Now, this is because the cooler the air that's coming into your PC case, um, the quicker it's able to expel all of that heat through the exhaust fans or the rear fans. So the front and top, you should have a lot of cool air coming in and then to the back you have all of that negative hot air being removed from your pc system you also need to make sure that when you pop open the front panel um, you do so very leniently even though it does take um, a lot of force to pop it open you want to make sure that you don't pop any of the fan wires for the fans to the front and if you have a radiator to the front or top when you pop these pieces off you want to make sure that you are not going to pop any water pipes or prevent damage to your radiators because they do leak if you exert too much pressure or force on them. Now guys, it's important to note that the fan guides that you have on the top, bottom, and some PC cases have these on the side and other places like above hard drives or where fans usually are in special cases. You wanna make sure that you remove these. Most of them are magnetic and some just sit on or are screwed on, some very old ones. You just wanna make sure you take them out, give them a good wipe with a cloth that has either rubbing alcohol or any solution that's similar to to get most of that dust out. Now, I would recommend wiping this away from the PC, making sure that you do not 
drop any liquids into your gaming PC. Now, I'm gonna repeat that. You wanna make sure that you wipe um, your guards away from your PC, so you make sure that you don't drop any liquids on your gaming PC. When you have the front fans and the rear fans and top fans exposed, most times if you have compressed air, it would be good to give it a blowout. But like I said in the beginning of this video, we're just gonna give everything a quick wipe. So you wanna wipe down everything, um, preferably with something that is a 100% cotton. And what you can do is touch a metal part of your case to prevent any static shock going onto the motherboard and preventing any buildup from damaging any PC components. Now guys, after you've given all of the fans a good wipe, you might find that there might be some dust on other parts of the system. Now I'm going to give you guys a very safe disclaimer. If you're not comfortable with touching other parts in your gaming PC, such as your graphics card, your RAM, your or CPU cooler, anywhere else that might have a lot of dust. If you are double thinking about it, then please don't touch it. If it's a pre-bought system, then best of luck is to get some compressed air to clean it or sending it back if it's in warranty because I know some places will clean out your PC for you if it's still within warranty if you claim that it is not running at proper temperatures on idle. But if this is a system that you've put together yourself, or you are someone that's very adverse with putting PC parts together, it's fine to remove some of the PC parts and if you have a very soft dust brush or something similar that you can use to get some of the dust out of the fans of components such as graphics cards or RAM, then please feel free to do so. But under any circumstances, make sure you are not touching any of the contacts, the metal contacts that connect these um, devices to the motherboard. Now, after you've wiped this, guys, make sure that you put everything back together how it was. Everything's nice and clean, and you can pop your front panel back on, your side panel back on, and you can put on your dust guards. Now, it's important to note that dust guards have a specific way to be placed back onto the system. The magnetic side is to be down and make sure it is very important that the dust guard that protects your power supply is always kept clean because your power supply is one of the most trickiest things to clean in your system. You actually cannot open it. All you can do is use some compressed air and you're not even advised to put the compressed air straw into to the back of the power supply. So make sure you prevent as much dust as possible going in there. I would say if you have your gaming PC on a desk, that is a great place to keep it. But if you have your gaming PC on the floor and it is a hardwood floor, then you just have to clean your guard more than often to keep it clean. Now, this is something that you really should note. If your gaming PC is on carpet and you have a lot of carpet fibers that are continu continuously being blown into your dust guard. Your dust guard is not going to be able to protect your um, power supply from sucking in all of that dust that just settles on carpets for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I've come across a lot of PCs that need repairs or people in forums asking about why their PC is not turning on or why it's overheating and dust from carpet fibers or carpet buildup is usually a common problem. So please, for the sake of your gaming PC, make sure you put your desk on a solid surface and you try to protect it from dust as much as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you drop a like and a subscribe. And I really hope this video helped you to clean your PC fans if you're unable to get your hands on some compressed air. Now, I will be doing some more videos on this PC and some how-tos to solve some simple problems. So make sure you check out this playlist. And if tech and gaming is something that you're interested in, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am out.